Saturday, May 7, 1887 It was the full moon day of the month of Boishak. Norendro and M were seated on a couch in M's study in Kolkata. They were talking. Just before Norendro's arrival, M had been studying the merchant of Venice, Comus, and Plucky's self-culture, which he taught at school. Norendro and the other brothers of the monastery were full of yearning for God-realization. A fire of intense renunciation raged in their hearts. Narendra, I don't care for anything. You see, I am now talking with you. But I feel like getting up this minute and running away. Narendra sat in silence a few minutes. Then he said, I shall fast to death for the realization of God. M. That is good. One can do anything for God. Norendra. But suppose I cannot control my hunger? M. Then eat something and begin over again. Norendra remained silent a few minutes. Norendra It seems there is no God. I pray so much, but there is no reply. None whatsoever. How many visions I have seen. How many mantras shining in letters of gold. How many visions of the goddess Kali. How many other divine forms. But still, I have no peace. Will you kindly... Give me six pies. Narendra asked for the money to pay his carriage hire to the Boronogor Mott. Just then, Shatkari arrived in a carriage. Of the same age as Narendra, he dearly loved the members of the monastery. He lived near the Mott and worked in Kolkata. The carriage was his own. Narendra returned the money to M and said that he would go with Shatkari in his carriage. He asked M to give them some refreshments. M accompanied the two friends to the Boronogor Mott. He wanted to see how the brothers spent their time and practiced sadhana. He wanted to see how Sri Ramakrishna, the master, was reflected in the hearts of the disciples. Niranjan was not at the mot. He had gone home to visit his mother, the only relative he had in the world. Baburam Sharut and Kali had gone to Puri. They intended to spend a few days there. Narendra was in charge of the members of the monastery. Prashanna had been practicing austere sadhana for the past few days. Footnote Prashanna 
Sharada Prashanna, one of the master's young disciples, was addressed as Prashanna by Sri Ramakrishna and his disciples. Footnote ends. Once Narendra had told him of his desire to fast to death for the realization of God. During Narendra's absence in Kolkata, Prashunna had left the monastery for an unknown destination. When Narendra heard about it, he said to the brothers, Why did Raja allow him to go? Footnote Raja Rakhal was addressed as Raja by all the brothers. Rakhal Raj, the king of the cowherd boys, is one of the names of Sri Krishna. And Sri Ramakrishna often spoke of Rakhal as one of the intimate companions of Krishna. Footnote ends. But Rakhal had not been in the monastery at the time, having gone to the Dukhinesha temple for a stroll. Narendra Just let Raja come back to the monastery. I shall scold him. Why did he allow Prashunna to go away? To Horish I am sure you were lecturing him then, standing with your feet apart. Couldn't you prevent his going away? Horish replied in a very low voice. Brother Tarok asked him not to go, but still he went away. Narendra to M. You see what a whole lot of trouble I am in. Here too I am involved in a world of Maya. Who knows where this boy has gone? Rakhal returned from the Kineshar. Bhavanath had accompanied him. Narendra told Rakhal about Prashunna's going away from the monastery. Prashunna had left a letter for Narendra. This was the substance of the letter. I am going to Brindavan on foot. It is very risky for me to live here. Here, my mind is undergoing a change. Formerly, I used to dream about my parents and other relatives. Then, I dreamt of woman, the embodiment of Maya. I have suffered twice. I had to go back to my relatives at home. Therefore, I am going far away from them. The master once told me, Your people at home are apt to do anything. Never trust them. Rakhal said, These are the reasons for his going away. Once he remarked, Narendra often goes home to look after his mother, brothers and sisters and he supervises the family lawsuit. I am afraid that I too may feel like going home, following his example. Narendra remained silent. Footnote 